and friends. Uh, Bearded Servant is back. And a uh, quick um, video. So I'm gonna move the license plate back to where it is because I didn't even think of that over the white light over the license plate. And I'm pretty sure that my state includes that. But I did order a new uh, aluminum like this stuff. Uh, license plate holder that looks almost exactly like this except it's a it's the aluminum uh, the harder aluminum stuff so uh, we shall see uh, how it holds up okay so my new modifications this week are the are two beds chair slash chairs uh, I ordered them from Amazon they were $109 each and they're basically like a chair a hard foamy chair that you can unfold and let's see if I can get this light so yeah I don't know the exact measurements uh, I want to say 72 long by maybe 30 wide and the foam padding is I want to say four inches maybe yeah four inches when it's laid out so uh, and it does have the clicky thing in the top to where you can lean against it, but honestly, I wouldn't. Uh, I've seen some reviews from these chairs that uh, it, it's you got to put it against the wall, so which is fine because that's where it's going to be against the back wall um, during the day, and then it'll lay it'll be laid out flat at night, and the, this actually folds out too. I just left it that way. that folds down to like that so it actually is perfect perfect length so yeah that's the chairs modification number two this week uh i built these on sunday was it sun yeah sunday and it's basically just a 12 inch wide uh plywood by half inch thick i think it's half inch, maybe three quarter inch thick and all right, the piece that goes across is six feet. Here's the kicker. The, the, this is a six foot wide trailer, okay? But with the thickness of the wood and then adding on the, the lower pieces, you cannot put the lower pieces on on the ends until you get it in place. <laughs> it doesn't work. You actually can put, screw these on but don't put the end ones on before you put it in place. And I'll show you what I use to put it together. I use these little, you get them at Lowe's, they're just little brackets. And I have little half inch, no, three quarter inch screws that the, came in a little bag. And I bought two bags and then I bought some of those brackets. And I ran out of brackets. So when I built the top shelf, I used a bigger bracket there <laughs> and a smaller bracket there. But, you know, it's all about what you have. Um, this one is attached to the wall, okay? And I used only a little half inch screw for the ones to go into, because I didn't want it to go through to the other side. Uh, and on this side, I don't have that extra space, so I just use a little tiny bracket here just to give it a little bit of stability. And uh, yeah, now I left that space open because that's where we want to put our TV with the little coax cable there for when we uh, are in campsites that has power, that have power, sorry. Uh, and I'm going to get a little Blu-ray player for it so that we can... Uh, uh, watch movies, you know, at night. Um, one thing, this piece um, here, I had to trim down. Now, this is a 12 inch wide um, piece. Now, when we all know when you buy them in the store, they don't come 12 inches wide. They come 11 and anywhere from 11 and a quarter to 11 and a half wide. I don't know why they do that. They just do. But because of the power strip being in the way, I did not want to pinch off the wire by just smushing it together. So I did take off some more. So you can actually see right there, there is a space, but that's because 
the power strip is uh, bolted to the wall there. And I didn't want to move any anything that they did. Plus, it runs down through the flo floorboard there. So, uh, and then also on that end, that piece there is trimmed shorter as well, quite a bit shorter actually, than these are. So that support is not as wide, just to protect the wires from being smushed. So, but, and I did put them on top of the foam. Now, you can put them down low, whatever, you know, however you, you do yours. But uh, this did save a little bit of money because when Runaway adds them, they add the cubbies and I didn't want those cubbies. I wanted my own personal uh, size spaces. So yeah, so that's what I did. These little lights we picked up at Harbor Freight, they're uh, dimmable and they're just these little things. I think they're like three bucks a piece. And uh, they have the 3M tape on the back. And you can just stick them anywhere. I haven't put them up yet. Uh, but that's what I'm using today just to make the video. So, all right, I guess that's all for today. All right, I guess that's all for this video. So uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and check out all my other videos. Uh, just... Um, just a Thanksgiving uh, walk that I uh, did today. So, all right, take care. God bless.